Hello, I'm JW. Uh, this is a quick update on those circuit breakers, uh, those checkers of Akin ones that we did a video about a while ago. And if you haven't seen the video, then of course the link is in the usual place. And the deal with these is, certainly from looking inside, that when they actually trip due to an overload, there's a little button there which should pop out, and the lever should stay in the same position. And then once that's done, it should be a question of turning off and then on again to reset the thing. So we'll take these outside and uh, fix them up and pass the current through there and see if that's actually what happens. And I've got another one here as well, so I'll just wire up one of these, but uh, put the two sort of side by side so we get a comparison between the two. So here's the two circuit breakers, so I just screwed on that uh, wooden panel there. And we'll just put a wire basically in the top and out the bottom of that, and they have to be uh, brown and blue, but of course the colour doesn't make any difference, it's just an AC connection. And in this case, they're going to be passing a current of about 15 amps through there. And bearing in mind these are 6 amp circuit breakers, uh, 15 amps should be more than plenty to trip the thing straight away. So the breaker on the left there is the one that's connected, and the one on the right is not connected, just put there for comparison purposes. So first thing we do is just to switch the breakers to the on position, which sure the levers in the up position. And then of course we'll just apply the 15 amps and it should trip. So there the left ray has now tripped and you see the lever hasn't moved but the small button there has just popped out. And of course that's what you would have expected after looking at the design inside. And then to reset the thing, first you press down the lever, which uh, causes the button to retract. And then it's a question of turning it on by lifting the lever to the up position. So that seems to work as intended. So I think what we'll do now is just have a closer look at that. So here's a closer view. And as before, we'll just turn them both to the on position. And then, the, of course, the left one should trip. And as before, we see the little button pops out. But of course, the lever remains in the same on position, even though the breaker, of course, has disconnected. Now I can reset there, and this time I'll uh, trip it, but I'll leave the actual fault in place, and then we'll try uh, switching the breaker on with the fault still there. And as you can see, the, although the button does go in, as soon as you try and turn it to the on position, the button pops out straight away, of course preventing it from being turned on. And then with the uh, current removed, again it's just a question of turning it off, and then to the on position, and of course that does switch on and would obviously continue operating normally. So those seem to work uh, just as expected, and certainly it's not uh, immediately obvious if you were just sort of glancing at the things to see if one had tripped, but of course you have to just check that small uh, button below the handle rather than the handle itself. So until next time, thanks for watching.